G'day gorgeous and welcome to the podcast that is dedicated to turning entrepreneurial women into a millionaires from the inside out and enriching lives for generations to come. I am looking forward to this week's podcast, how to raise your self-worth, your net worth and your life worth in the next 60 minutes. Based on a question from one of our ladies, Amanda, nothing seems to work out for me. My business has been struggling for the past three years. I'm constantly arguing with my partner and I can't see how I'll ever be successful. Why is this happening to me? Well, I would say that this is a question on millions of people's minds right now. However, Sunny, there are always solutions to our problems and I'm very much looking forward to sharing an amazing progress action step that you can do today to help you. The G'day Gorgeous podcast is where you'll get real, raw, and relatable stories, guidance, proven formulas that can help you overcome your frustrations and go on and live a life that you truly love every day. Yes, it's possible. I'm Amanda Jane Clarkson, a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, entrepreneur, and a millionaires mentor. And if you love the idea of being a millionaires too, pop over and visit us at gdaygorgeous.com or click the link in the notes below, gdaygorgeous.com. And be sure to have your journal and a nice cup of tea ready today because I'm going to share some profound messages with you. Let's jump into Sunny's question. Good morning. I will give you a moment to jump on, gorgeous millionaires women. Ready for another fun field, value field podcast. If you're new to this podcast, welcome. I'm looking forward to doing today. Love hearts to you girls. Oh, my favorite time of the week to spend with my millionaires mastermind women standout leaders that they are. It is wonderful to see so many women and uh, if you're tuning into this and you're a guy, welcome. Uh, This podcast is for everyone because we talk about life and business and finance, all the good stuff. But uh, in the times that we're living in right now, the awesome thing is, for me at least, and this is a selfish thing to say probably, is that more of you are able to tune into the goodness, tune into new information, and really use this time to fill your mind, your body, your soul with some new learnings that will take you to a completely different future. And that's what I'm excited to talk about today. Um, I've got a great question from one of you ladies. Sunny is not your name, I know, but you will probably be on this call today, hopefully listening, listening in. So this podcast today is one I'm actually looking forward to talking about. And even though I'm talking about how to raise your self-worth, your net worth, and your life worth in the next 60 minutes, I'm going to be talking about today the difference of foresight over hindsight. So having said that, ladies, you will absolutely need your journal because I'm going to deliver value hopefully soothe the pain and the worry that so many people are feeling now, millions and millions of people. Although I'm not going to talk about what is happening just right now in the economy, what I want to share with you today on this podcast is a life lesson, especially if you are in business, you are interested in financial independence, financial vitality, financial freedom, or even financial security. It doesn't matter whatever you're into. Um, And we need to be thinking about the future, not just getting through a hard time. So I'm going to call out or read out, I should say, I'm already screaming into the microphone. Um, This question from Sunny, and I would ask you to put yourself in Sunny's shoes. I have no doubt each and every one of you on this call today, including myself, has had this experience in your life at some time or another, if not right now. The question is, Amanda, nothing seems to be working out for me ever. My business has been struggling for the past three years. I'm constantly arguing with my partner and I can't see how I'll ever be successful. Why is this happening to me? What an interesting question. Give me a sign here if you've ever felt the same way as Sunny, you've ever felt that 
life is happening to you, not through you or for you. Have you ever been in her shoes? I know I have, and that's why I'm very um, much looking forward to sharing some information with you today to help you soothe soothe your mind because um, we are living in very interesting times. But as I said, this is for the future, not just the now that I want to talk about. So I want you to write in your journal, foresight over hindsight what is the difference the thing is this people talk about hindsight looking backwards or some people say joining the dots or you know um, trying to figure out what went wrong here's the thing when we start looking backwards too often sometimes we can get stuck looking backwards and forget to look where we are and then into the future. I kind of look at it like driving a car. You know, have you ever driven along the highway and you want to pull into a different lane, maybe left lane or right lane, and you've got that blind side on your car and you've literally got to turn your head for a split second to ensure that when you change lanes, you are not going to bang into a car. Now, I don't know about you, but many times throughout my driving life, I have looked to my left look to my right and there has been a car in my blind spot thankfully I took that moment to look backwards but here's the, um, the the analogy that I'm trying to share with you sometimes in life people look backwards and they forget to bring their head back to the front so you imagine that you're driving along the highway doing 100 kilometers an hour or 100 miles an hour and you turn your head over to see what's on your blind side or what you can't see looking back and then you don't bring your head back to the front what's going to happen you are going to crash and burn and you know this is i say life is kind of like that if we tend to constantly just look back trying to join the dots or seeing where we want went wrong and we begin to ask ourselves why is this why is this happening to me instead of switching it around and asking yourself a better question yes it's okay to look backwards but just to know what is there but we must learn to look in the now and look into the future by asking better questions because here's what we all know we can be a victim of the past or we can master our future and I love to say be the captain heiress of our own ship heading true north and I like to talk about boating because that's what I love to do but I know in a boat if you turn the compass dial just one degree over time the boat will completely turn around and head in a different direction and I want you to think about that in terms of your life when you're having problems in your business you're having problems in your relationship and life doesn't seem to be working out for you the truth is this life is working out for you it's just how we see it and so if you're one of these people that constantly just look backwards trying to figure out what went wrong for weeks months or even years then you can't expect to be traveling north or having that compass dial heading in the right direction and so here's the thing and I want to share a little bit about foresight and hindsight and what the true difference is and I want you to write this in your journal girls because I think this is really important for you or if you're a guy tuning in to the podcast thank you this is for everyone and I really hope that this hits with you today because I really want to soothe your stress and worry but but how to turn your life around in just 60 minutes. Is it possible? You bet it's possible because I know so because I used to be one of these people that was always looking backwards, asking why life was happening to me instead of learning how to have better foresight. Here's the thing, foresight in my opinion, you can call it an opinion, but from what I've learned and what I've lived, foresight creates a standout leader or standout leadership. Hindsight if you stick there and you look over your shoulder too often for too long, that creates a follower or what I call a herd mentality. Now that is a very disempowering state to find yourself in. And what happens is if you continually look over your shoulder and, and ask yourself, you know, why is this happening to me? And you're not sure how to look forward. 
then what happens is life does swallow you up and you lose control of your ship. It's like you don't know the dial sitting in front of you, but you've forgotten it's there. You don't know how to use it. You don't know how to turn the dial. And that can be frightening. And here's the beautiful thing and why I say you can turn this around in 60 minutes. And I'm going to give you a little exercise in a moment is this. There are animals and there are human beings. As human beings, we have what we call foresight. Animals only have hindsight. So an animal learns by their mistakes and an animal can only look back and remember the past. And so every decision an animal makes is based on the past experience that they've had. They don't have the option of having foresight or being able to think forward or be able or being able to ask themselves better question. So isn't that profound? Animals only have hindsight. Human beings, we have foresight. So what is the difference? Having foresight and the beauty thing that I love about this is being able to ask better questions and I say it's the ability to think into the future and ask yourself how can I do something different and I say harnessing the power of the imagination and the gate and the imagination is your gateway to turning what seems impossible to possible. And so I want you to write those notes down. So instead of constantly looking backwards and blaming and saying, why is life happening to me? Why am I failing in my business all the time? Why am I constantly arguing with my partner? Why can't I ever be successful? You've got to ask yourself, what questions am I asking? What am I actually looking back back there? Sounds like a car crash to me. And so with foresight, that is where we can tap into our intuition. These words are important, ladies and guys, if you're watching this. We can tap into our intuition. We can tap into uh, vision. And so with vision, when you start to see yourself into the future, not the past, you're living in the now, you open up the gateway to more possibility, more opportunities, more ideas, more people and different ways of thinking, doing and being. And this is where by using your uh, intuition and tapping into foresight, we find ourselves, we have more balance, we can have more certainty and we can start to make different plans for the future. Um, and it's where we can learn to um, balance our emotions. And the thing is this, right? Looking back all the time, if you spend most of your time looking back and wondering what went wrong, that's where our, our emotions can really get out of balance. And we uh, loosen our perceptions and we're always looking on one side of life, not both sides of life. And here's the beautiful thing about foresight and what I've learned to do is when you look into the future and you start to plan into the future, you can see that there is a balance in life, both positive, negative, challenge and support, ups and downs, you know, the whole roller coaster that we're on in life and business. You know, I know business, I know it's not easy. And so if you start to future think and future plan for your life, the smart thing to do is not just uh, think about the one side of life, but to think about the both sides of life. So for instance, if you're thinking about new ways to market your business, so you might come up with 10 different sexy ideas and you go, yes, I could do this, 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 and this. The smart thing to do is what could go wrong with that? And you put in contingency ideas so that you come down to more of a balanced perception. And this is where people get it wrong. They're so emotional about their business and their relationships. And I get it. I am not sitting here judging because this has been my whole life. The difference is I've just spent the years and the money educating myself with so many different mentors, hundreds of seminars, thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of self-education to learn all this stuff. And this is what I want to share with you. This is why I get all excited and go on my little rampages is that if we learn to forward think, we can start to balance out our perceptions and just look over our shoulder for a split second, but don't stay there. Whereas animals, 
they only live with trial and error like I said before and they're always trying to seek that one side of life like you think about an animal and it is always trying to kill its prey get something to eat and it doesn't want to obviously put itself in danger and so that is not the way we want to think as a human and this is where the masses sometimes don't think for themselves they just follow the herd and think well if they're doing that that must be right instead of sitting down and trusting in your yourself each of us have the ability to tap into our imagination ask a different question and had the privilege on the weekend of attending an online uh, summit with reliable education and one of the key speakers there was John Bertrand now here's the Aussie yachtsman who skippered Australia 2 to victory in the 1983 America's Cup ending a massive 132 years of American supremacy. Now, can you remember that moment in time? I absolutely do. I remember it, but hopefully you know the guy I'm talking about. Now, here's what he proposed on the weekend. He did this incredible keynote speech. There's one thing that he said that was so profound, I wrote it down, and this is the question that I'm going to pose to you right now. And he said how he won the America's Cup is by asking this question, was similar to this question, I've just changed it up a little bit. What, uh, what difference or impact in 20 years from now could you have on your life or on a global scale. So that is a little bit different than what he said, but he said instead of thinking in the now or looking back over their shoulder into the past, they projected 20 years into the future. What could it look like? And it was such a different question. If you're a business person or you're in a relationship, instead of just struggling with what's happening now, and that's where most people get it wrong, they focus on what is. Instead of asking, well, what could this look like? So thinking about your business, thinking about your finances, thinking about your relationship, thinking about your health and well-being, all that good stuff. What could it look like by tapping into your imagination one year from now? three years from now, five years from now, 15 years from now. And that takes you into the future and a different set of circumstances, a different way of thinking. And it really opens up the mind to new possibility. What seems absolutely impossible now becomes absolutely possible and that's how they won the America's Cup obviously there was so much more to the story than what I'm sharing with you but the message is this don't look into the past with hindsight for too long use your foresight and look into the future and so it comes down to the question well Amanda that's all lovely but how do I raise my self-worth my net worth and my life worth in just 60 minutes is it absolutely possible yes it is so i'm going to give you a little exercise if you choose to take it on just try it and if my way doesn't work go back to your way but i have done this many many times and it has worked for me and hopefully it will work for you because the only way going back to sunny's question to move out of that why is this happening to me syndrome which is the blame game or the victim mentality and move into that standout leadership role where you truly become a millionaireess from the inside out so you can have it all or a millionaire if you're a guy here's what you can do today take one hour and block it out 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes so the first 20 minutes invest into self-worth so self-worth in your journal you can make future plans to live a life by design in every area and so you think about every area of life because some people now are truly understanding the importance that you can't have money without taking care of your health you can't have health without taking care of your relationships everything is intertwined the seven areas of life are as important as each other quickly they are love your relationships your health your money, growth, happiness, and did I leave one out there? Uh, love, health, relationships, I'll get it in a minute. Your money, your vocation, which is your business or your career, happiness and personal growth. They're the seven areas. I should know by now, shouldn't I? 
And so think about those seven areas today and just take 20 minutes and make a future plan for each of those areas, even if it's one year and three years out. What could it look like? Let your imagination run wild and just sit there and forget about the past. The now is already old news, but what could it look like? Okay, and get your friends involved, get on a Zoom call, ask your children if you have them because they have some amazing ideas. They're not all stuffed up in the head like we are. Ask your partner, get with your partner and ask the question because here's the thing. You want to set the compass to where you want to get to, not where it is. If you want a different destiny and you're out in the ocean and you want to avoid a container ship that's sitting off sea about three miles in front of you, you need to change that dial up. So 20 minutes self worth raising the bar of your life by design, not living according to other people's wants and needs or outside authority, but what is in your heart? Now, if you use foresight, you will tap into intuition and vision. That is gonna come naturally to you. Trust in your inner voice. We each have it. No one is more special than another person. We each have it. It's just that we haven't been taught to use it properly. And then the the thing that I wanna finish up on the self-worth one for just 20 minutes, When you write out each of the areas of life and what it will look like into the future, then underneath that, as you achieve each small goal, because goals are little post guides along the way to an outcome you want to achieve, then how are you going to celebrate? Most of us, including myself, we don't see what we've created. All we see is what we don't have, which keeps us looking over our shoulder, trying to figure out what went wrong when nothing went wrong. We just need to change the dial up there on the compass and head true north. That's what I'm saying to you. That's why I like to use the analogy of a boat because you can head true north with that. Next 20 minutes, remember this is just 60 minutes of work. Next 20 minutes, invest on your net worth. Now, I want to make it clear for every one of you. Net worth, while I'm talking about you know, financial independence, yes, I'm talking about money. But net worth can be so much more than just money. Net worth is the sum of your life. I want you to write that down. It is critically important that some people get the confusion of, oh, we just focused on the one thing. Net worth can be money in this situation. When I'm talking about financial independence, yes, I'm talking about money, but I'm talking about how to elevate your your net worth, your life worth right now. So with the net worth, the sum of everything that you have now equals your past thoughts, your past decisions, and our past actions. And so that is the net worth of who you are now and where you are. It is okay. We've just got to start where we are, be grateful where we are, but plan into the future. What could it be in the future? How do you elevate your net worth? You feel more worthy as your net worth grows. And so think about that in the seven areas and go, well, what could the sum of my life actually look like? If I was ballsy enough or gutsy enough or I could pull my big girl courage pants on and actually get out there now and use this time in history that hopefully we'll never see again to change what I've been doing and move into the future using foresight what could it be and how would it elevate my net worth Again, you can talk about money, you can talk about health, you can talk about your relationship. So for Sunny, who's continually fighting with her partner, what if she learned how to have a caring relationship instead of a careless relationship? Because the bickering and the arguing usually comes from not understanding how to communicate or connect in ways that are uplifting and important to each other. How do I know that? Because I've been there hundreds and hundreds of time arguing, trying to get my way, arguing for my limitations instead of asking myself, wow, how can I communicate in a way that doesn't piss people off? How can I communicate in a way that they will understand and I'll get more buy-in? See, this raises your net worth in life because you become more. 
okay again I'm going on a little rampage I'm going to calm down calm the farm Amanda but that's what happens so you can use this 20 minutes to say well how do I raise that and then the third 20 minutes that I want to talk about now is your life worth what is your life worth you cannot put a dollar value on understanding the importance of using foresight not living in hindsight tapping into your imagination opening up that gateway that's probably been uh, blocked and clogged for so many years your life worth write in your journal today how you will feel when you wake up and you are actually living your dream life is it possible yes it is because I made a promise to myself I don't know when I was a young kid very a long time ago clearly I'm in my 50s now so a very long time ago that I was not going to live somebody else's dreams I was not going to conform with what mum and dad wanted for me I was not going to conform to uh, conform with what certain churches or um, uh, teachers wanted or people above me aunties and uncles or society I wanted to make my own pathway because for me the thought of freedom that that desire was so deep inside of me freedom to live my life how I want wherever I want and it hasn't been easy getting here I'm not saying that it has been a freaking roller coaster but would I change it not for all the gold in the world would I change my life it is possible but you need to be strong not in a way that is obnoxious but in a way that is unshakable that that life worth what is your life worth we only have one each and it slips by so goddamn fast especially when you get past your 30s and into your 40s give me a sign girls if you feel like every day is getting faster and faster and how we do that we can pivot this is the great thing about being the captain heiress of your own ship you can turn the compass just one one dial by one degree and in time that boat will turn around and head a different way you can do it but we need to make those decisions and you can only make the decisions by tapping into foresight not hindsight and so Sunny I hope I've answered this question I've gone into a long long way around it but I think it's such an amazing question in a time like now because life is not happening to us we each have the power we have the ability we are not animals and yet so many of us including myself in the past have lived like an animal being disempowered you know just living by trial and error instead of using the imagination I think I said it in a lesson a week or two ago you know thinking is probably one of the hardest things to do that's why people that use their brain and think often make more money than people who just do physical labor again that's not a judgment on anybody it just is and so ask yourself if I spent 60 minutes just thinking about this and how I would actually feel what my life worth would be if I were able to pivot because you've got the time now there's no excuses we've got to put the bullshit excuses behind because you know they they do belong back over there bash that little bird on your shoulder that says you're not good enough you're not worthy enough you're not smart enough it's too late smack its beak off or I'll smack its beak off for you get the um, big girl courage pants on and take the 60 minutes today and turn your life around that's what I would say to you Sunny and for all of you listening I truly hope that you found value in this because I've done it myself I used to live in the past until I said one day enough is enough you know for things to change first I must change and for change to happen it takes imagination it takes energy it takes effort it takes dedication and a true commitment why because you're worth it and we're worth it together and so ladies that ends my podcast for today on how to raise your self-worth 
your net worth and your life worth in just 60 minutes. Let me know if that was helpful. Um, And girls, if you have any friends and family that you know would uh, find value in what I share, please send this message on, send the podcast on. You've all got the link uh, and help me help me elevate and enrich more lives because that's what I'm sitting here doing. I spend my whole life doing this now because it's what I love to do. And that's what I want you to wake up feeling every day. Life is not happening to you. Life is happening for you. So beautiful women, that is the end of my podcast. I hope you really enjoyed that. What a time, hey? What a time in history. Well, I'm bunkering down, making the most of it. I am almost complete with our new millionaires course for business and financial independence that has 72 lessons inside of it containing hundreds of questions around business, money, financial independence, freedom, life worth, all the rest of it. So I don't know what you're doing, but don't sit and watch the TV all day take this time to work on yourself and you can literally come through this a completely different person than you are now. Look into the opportunity and tap into your imagination, ladies. You all have the gold sitting inside of you. And Sunny, if you're on this podcast, which you probably are, I hope that answered your question and you are feeling uplifted. All right, my beautiful angels, thank you for joining me. Um, Remember, girls, to stay strong and uh, you know not lose it mentally, emotionally, uh, physically in any way, shape or form. Stay close to your millionaires mastermind community. That is where the good energy is. Continue to share your aha moments, your learnings, how you are moving through this, what you're doing with that 60 minute um, exercise. I call it a progress step that I just shared with you. Do it and then share your results in here. This is the most important time in our lives to make sure we stick with our tribe and be very, very careful of the conversations that we allow ourselves to slip into and you know, sometimes we're going to get pulled back to where we don't want to be. So stay close to your community. And I so appreciate each and every one of you. I love you. I'm sending you big cyber hugs. We will get through this together. I promise you, because each and every one of you are standout millionaires leaders. All right, babes, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much for joining me on today's podcast. A big, big thank you to Sunny for sending in your question. And I have no doubt that all of you benefited from today's amazing progress action steps that I shared with you. And until next week, again, I appreciate you tuning in to the G'day Gorgeous podcast that is dedicated to turning entrepreneurial women and guys into a millionaires from the inside out, enriching lives for generations to come and as always i'd be super grateful if you would please share this podcast with your girlfriends your family others anyone in fact that you know would greatly benefit from the gold and the life lessons that i have learned along the way lastly to find out more about my millionaires mentoring for entrepreneurial women my latest book and inspirational stories pop over Visit us at g'daygorgeous.com, G-D-A-Y gorgeous.com. And till next week, be bold, be courageous, and even more fabulous. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.